so this is not the video that I planned on doing to start this month off. If you've been paying attention to some of my previous videos, I want to do a month dedicated entirely to the character of Rose Tico. And that's still going to happen. This month is going to be dedicated entirely to Rose. The only thing that's changed is this video in particular. And the reason why I decided to go a different direction with it. So I don't know if you guys know this yet. But well, let, let's let's start with what I was originally going to do. So what I was originally going to do was uh, read through the comments of my first video on Rose that I released very shortly after The Last Jedi came out and make fun of the hate comments because they are either cringy, nonsensical, or just a total display of a lack of human decency. And the reason I decided not to do that is because in light of recent events, it would just, it just felt like it would be an incredibly poor taste to do something like that. I, I fully intended on being cautious with how I read some of the comments because some of them were incredibly racist and I wasn't going to use any of the slurs because, you know, I'm white and... Kelly Marie Tran, who plays Rose, is Vietnamese, you know, South Asian. It wouldn't feel right to repeat any of the racist comments in those comments. Even with my plans to be cautious in reading those comments, I've just decided to abandon that plan altogether. Recently, Kelly Marie Tran deleted her Instagram. Or rather, I think it's still up, but all of her posts are gone. And it was largely due to harassment. And I don't know if it's yet been confirmed, but it's fairly obvious as to why she was putting up with so much harassment and who it was coming from. It's obviously the racist, sexist population of... Star Wars fans. I, I just could not be more fucking infuriated right now. These assholes decided that their hatred for a character was, first of all, justified, which it's not. And two, that their hatred for, for a character justified their mistreatment of a human being. Right, I don't know if you guys know this, but Rose and Kelly Marie Tran are two completely separate entities. Like, I don't know how to make that more obvious. Rose is not the same person as Kelly Marie Tran. Kelly Marie Tran is not the same person as Rose. One of them is fictional. The other is fucking real. This is indicative of a much bigger problem of the racism and sexism, among other things, that has run rampant in the Star Wars fandom. And I mean, that's a whole nother discussion entirely, but it's just so damn appalling that... These people, I can't even refer to them as people, but these monsters felt like they had any right to attack Kelly Marie Tran like this. Like, first of all, racism and misogyny are never fucking justified. And I, oh my gosh, I, I honestly don't know how to make people give a fuck about marginalized groups. I honestly do not know how. Like, I don't know 
how to tell you that you shouldn't be a sentient sack of shit towards other people. It's fucking exhausting. Like, I honestly cannot believe I have to explain to people that just because you don't like what a person says doesn't mean they deserve to be harassed or that you need or that you need to explain why you don't like that person when I'm mentioning that they shouldn't be fucking harassed. I do not know how to make people realize that. And I don't know how to make you realize that if someone from a marginalized group is not part of your conversation, you shouldn't be fucking talking about what is or isn't disparaging towards them. I honest to God do not know how to make people realize this because they're never going to fucking listen. It's like there are people who will try to justify this by saying that, oh, I use too many fuck words. Well, guess what? Using fuck words means that you actually give a shit. It means you actually care. It means you're actually passionate about it. It means that you actually care about the people that you're talking about. It means that you actually stand for something. It means you have convictions. It means you stand up for those convictions. Like, if you're just going to silence someone when they're calling you out on your bullshit, you have no right to fucking speak about it. Tone policing isn't a good look for anyone. And I mean, then you have people who are trying to rein in the fandom, who are trying to be like, hey, you know, the way you're acting is not cool at all, and I'm not going to fucking sugarcoat it for you, because if you're going to talk like a fucking adult, you're going to be treated like a fucking adult. And guess what? I'm not nice to adults who are shitty people. It's like, like Chuck Wendick, right? He wrote the Aftermath trilogy for Star Wars, and he's also written some of his own original fiction. And he called a shitty section of the Star Wars fandom shitty. And he had every fucking right to. He wasn't wrong. He wasn't stepping out of line. He was doing what any responsible person would do. Chuck Wendig is so not wrong. And it's like, having these sort of positions and openly talking about them and standing for them, it does place a target on your head. Because there are people who won't talk about these subjects simply because it won't bring them any money. You know, which I think is pretty fucked up. You know, I choose to talk about things that I actually care about. And this is something that I care about. Because it's not just the fans who are being mistreated, which is appalling enough. You know, it's also the actors and the creators involved. I mean, someone was trying to say that, you know, Lucasfilms shouldn't shoot first if they don't want fans to attack, and it's like, how's it shooting first when you're wishing Kathleen Kennedy a, a happy fucking birthday? You know? Nothing justifies that kind of behavior anyways. I know I've been guilty of it, but definitely not to that degree, and definitely not for those reasons. You know, I won't pretend that I've been completely innocent, but I will say that I have never gotten to that level. I've never tried to justify it, and I have apologized for my behavior. And I think that's important. You can come back from being that kind of a person, but you have to actually care. I've had moments of selfishness, yes, but I've always cared. These people don't care. They will say and do whatever to justify treating people like garbage. And it's sickening. This is why we need more diversity in Star Wars and in media in general. But we're talking about Star Wars here. Because Rose was our first ever major character who wasn't white or a man. She was our first ever major woman of color character. 
because she was played by Kelly Marie Tran. This is why that matters. You know, someone, I can't remember who, I will, um, I'll try to find it and link it down below in the description. Someone ranked all the Star Wars movies by percentage of screen time held by women. The Last Jedi was in first place with 43%. That's that's the closest we have to gender parity in the Star Wars films, and yet it's there's still a larger percentage of screen time held by men. I'm not saying it has to be perfectly even because it's never going to be perfectly even. Sometimes you're going to have more female screen time, and sometimes you're going to have more male screen time, but it's not. SJW propaganda for women to only have 43% of screen time. I mean, The Last Jedi also had the largest number of female characters, and it's still less than the men. You know, like I said with Solo, it finally gave us a female droid. And how many female alien characters have we had, you know, for a series that emphasizes balance and compassion, there is so little of it. There isn't balanced representation, and there is absolutely no compassion from the people who are starting to see themselves represented less proportionally. Like, get this, white men. It's not about you. It might have been before, but guess what? Society is growing the fuck up. It's moving forward. Either catch up or stay behind in the dust. Get this, you incel geeks. Women don't want to fuck you not because you're geeks, but because you don't even treat us like people. If I wanted an emotionally inept fuck machine, I'd just go out and buy one. They make those now. And, you know, I probably shouldn't joke about the sex thing because that's not even the biggest part of it. It's just the entitlement. You think you're entitled to Star Wars going exactly how you wanted it. Well, guess what? If you want a series that goes exactly how you want it to, you're going to have to put in the fucking work. Make your own. Show some creativity that you claim the writers don't have. You know, you want to prove that you can make a better series? Fucking make one. Read some books, take a writing class, make your own damn fictional universe. You know, regardless of what profession you currently do now, you can still create fictional universes. The Star Wars creative team has an idea for where they want these stories to go. And damn it, they're going to make those stories happen. And it's not going to go exactly how you want it to, because guess what? Star Wars doesn't belong to you. It belongs to everyone. And another thing that pisses me off, people will express their hatred for Rose by comparing her to Jar Jar Binks. If your only point of comparison for a Star Wars character you don't like is Jar Jar Binks, you're not that smart. Like, I don't know how to tell you that. You're not that smart. Oh wait, that's right. I do know how to tell you this because turns out you're not actually children. You're adults, or at least you should be, so I'm gonna talk to you like you're fucking adults even though that's probably giving you a little too much credit. You're fucking stupid, okay? If your only point of comparison for Rose is that, you know, she's the new Jar Jar Binks or what the fuck ever, you're a fucking moron, alright? You're just... Intellectually speaking, you're just not worth anyone's time. And I mean, I'll be getting into that later this month. Gosh, if you're going to compare two characters, at least give me something to work with other than the fact that you dislike both of them. You know, Rose and Jar Jar aren't even the slightest bit comparable other than the fact that they're both adorable. Just stop with the Rose-Jar Jar comparisons, because they're... They were never funny, or creative, or smart, or demonstrating anything even close to resembling an intelligent thought. But even then, it doesn't justify treating Kelly Marie Tran this way. 
know, and maybe it's because we're in the age of social media where fans and creators can interact now more than they ever have. But it's just so fucked up that this is happening to the first major actor in a Star Wars movie who is removed from both maleness and whiteness, right? That's incredibly fucked up, and you're not hiding it at all. Like, I know that racism and misogyny are the two main culprits, and y'all are complicit in it. Given the uh, contemporary political climate, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you were proud of it. And there are guys who claim to be leftists, who claim that Star Wars is becoming too SJW or whatever. And it's like, all they're doing is bringing in more women. All they're doing is bringing in more people of color. You know, they're diversifying the, they're diversifying the characters that we're seeing in the Star Wars movies. That's not a bad thing. Star Wars has always been political because, I mean, what the fuck do you think a war is? It's not a fucking royal rumble with guns. Alright, a war is always about politics. I mean, in case you haven't fucking noticed or paid even the slightest bit of attention in any history class ever, war has always been political. There are politics involved in every single war, real or fictional. To pretend otherwise is just moronic. Right? Star Wars has always, 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 always been political. But now it's harder to ignore. Because we're seeing the rise of fascists in our society. And we're more in tune with all the bad shit that's going on in the world. And it's getting harder and harder to ignore. And yes, some people do like to use fiction as escapism. Do that if you don't want to make the, con the connection between the events of Star Wars and real world politics, then don't. No one's forcing you to. But guess what? Star Wars is going to involve politics because it's a fucking war. If you want a series that doesn't involve politics, look for a star piece. But politics is always going to be part of the story because if it's a story that involves people, it's almost always going to involve some degree of politics. Because, get this white people, politics affect people, believe it or not. I know I'm kind of all over the place. I've been trying to hit a lot of talking points that I've just been feeling so much recently. I know this isn't my most articulate video, but all this needed to be said because I might just be one tiny little drop in the bucket, but I don't know. Maybe if there are enough drops and enough buckets, we can put out this hellfire that the fandom has become. I don't know what else to say because my thoughts are just kind of jumbled up right now. I mean, when the fuckery has gotten bad enough that Anita Sarkeesian needs to talk about it, then you know it's bad. No shade towards Anita Sarkeesian. I love her. I respect her. It's just, I never want to have to see her talking about the Star Wars fandom ever again because then you know we fucked up. And we have. And guys, if you're going to claim to be a leftist, stand up against the harassment that women and people of color received. Because if you don't, you're not a leftist. Shut the fuck up. You're just a pretentious liberal. That's all I have for this. I promise my next videos will be a little bit more put together than this. And I will be more put together than this. Double upload coming Friday to make up for missing last Friday, although it's in light of recent news and having to change my first video for this series. Maybe that was a blessing in disguise. Yeah, double upload this Friday. Uploads on Monday and Friday. 
every subsequent week of this month. Then we'll just take it from there. Um, oh, and if you made it this far, I might actually um, insert a little disclaimer at the beginning. If you love Rose as much as I do, or even half as much as I do, if you like Rose or have anything positive to say about her or Kelly Marie Tran, go ahead and drop it in the comment section down below because I would love for the final video in this series to be a love letter to Kelly Marie Tran. Um, I will be heavily monitoring the comments. Like, they will have to be approved by me. I am turning off like to dislike ratios because fuck that noise. Um, if y'all can't act like adults, I'm going to treat you like kids. But I know there are people who watch my videos who love Rose and agree with the things that I have to say about her. I do have some criticisms of her character, but, you know, no characters without criticism. I want to end this month. This month is starting off so negative, and I want to end it positively. So, so if there's anything that you like about Rose, go ahead, drop it below, or about Kelly Marie Tran. Go ahead, put it in the comments below. Um, I'll be collecting comments throughout the month on this video and all the other videos I make about Rose. And I'll probably uh, look back towards the um, the first video I made about Rose too, uh, because like I said, I want to end this month on a positive note, and I can't think of anything more positive than a, a love letter to. Rose Tico and Kelly Marie Tran. So I would really appreciate your guys' help with that. Like I said, we might be tiny drops in the bucket, but there's enough of us we can put out this dumpster fire. Thank you for watching this long, rambly mess. I really appreciate you guys sticking through it this much because. I have a lot to say. There's probably so much more that needs to be said, but that's just all I can think of right now. If you guys can think of anything about your experiences in the fandom, I'd love to hear it. Um, if you somehow found this rambling mess tolerable, go ahead, give it a like. Um, share it with people you think might be interested in this conversation. Uh, subscribe if you have not already. I, I'm not usually like this, and like I said, my my subsequent videos about Rose will be a lot more put together, a lot more thought out, and yeah, um, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.